Well, what our teacher did here was he got this plate, right? He put sodium on it. He got water, poured it on there. And like they just dropped it and it was like and then it got all over the place and it caught on fire and then it got sparky and it was like boom, boom, boom. Safety first, so outside we do the big boom, inside we do the little fizzle. My name is Zoe. What's up, my name is Alex. I'm David Greenmeyer. I teach science at Edison Computech Middle School. So we had our kids coming up with ideas to do an experiment for uh, Kleenex. I really liked that they remembered something I'd shown them earlier in the school year. We got two little stands set up, right? Put a little plate, like the same one outside, underneath each one. And what we did was we got Brand X, which was the cheap brand and stuff, and then we got Kleenex. We hooked them onto the stands, put a little sodium in each container, and what we wanted to try and do was see how much that Kleenex can hold. Let's do Brand X first. It didn't even get that much water in it. Tore right away. The water got through, set off the sodium. It did the little explodey thingy and it caught on fire and it was really cool and it was also pink, which is a really pretty color. It only handled 15 yeah. before it dripped. Brand X, it was really bad. I was really amazed at how much the Kleenex could hold. All 40 milliliters, right? Yeah. Kleenex was able to hold a lot of water. That's 50. You guys want to push our luck? It was like this, and it was all full of water, but it still didn't blow up. It's oh my gosh. The Kleenex kept going and going and going. It was like, you know, the train wreck. You wanted to see what was going to happen. Oh! oh it's right there. Kleenex was able to hold 90 milliliters of water. The average sneeze is about 0.5 milliliters. You can use that multiple times. And I hope no one's using the same tissue that many times.